Our next uh, berry tasty treat is um, blackberry cheesecake cups. And um, blackberry white chocolate cheesecake cups. It's quite a mouthful and it's got a lot of um, ingredients going into it, but it's going to be so delicious. And so we are going to get started. We are going to make our the base of the cheesecake. And usually we use graham crackers, but this time around we're going to use pretzels. So I have um, some mini pretzels here. So just place them in the food processor and um, process them until they are fine crumbs. Just about a minute or two. So I have um, a crumb-like texture. Yeah. And so to this we will be adding uh, sugar and some melted butter. Uh, let me put all of it. and I'm just going to get everything mixed in get all the signs so that sugar helps balance out um, the pretzels because they can be a bit salty And just one more blitz. Okay. So this is good. Um, if it can open. <laughs> so we have a mixture happening. So we are using... Um, mini jars this is the uh, half pint or one cup jar so we'll be setting it in there and this is beautiful because you have like little individual sizes and that way you know you can have a whole cheesecake to yourself um, or if you want the um, larger one you can use that too but uh, we'll, we'll just go with the recipe it's a uh, blackberry white chocolate mini cheesecake cups <laughs> yeah so we'll be putting our base in the in the individual containers and then we'll work on the rest of the recipe the next part is um working on the whipped cream so we'll get started with a whipped cream and we'll beat it until it forms um some stiff peaks and we'll be using this we'll fold in this whipped cream into the rest of the um, cream cheese mixture once it's done so you want to go on high and um, you do not want to over whip it or else it will break apart and become like butter okay. so. Okay, so we are done with the whipped cream mixture. As you can see, we have some 
stiff peaks that are formed there. So this is ready to go. Um, we'll use it, uh, we'll fold it, fold it in some of it into the cream cheese mixture and then the, a little bit will be left for a serving at the very end. Um, so we'll get started. This is the cream cheese mixture, confectioner's sugar. I'm using white chocolate chips and some vanilla. And this was our layer that we already put into our nice little jars. Um, I just put a large portion for whoever would like a larger slice of cream cheese. Uh, oh, not cream cheese, of cheesecake. Um, here we go. So we'll get started on the second process and bring it along. So we'll get started with a cream cheese um, mixture. That's cream cheese, uh, confectioner sugar or icing sugar and some vanilla. And we'll beat this until smooth. Then afterwards we'll be adding our whipped cream and chocolate chip. That's it. <laughs> now there we go. Start nice and slow. <laughs> or else you'll have everything on your face. Okay, so we'll just uh, mix in on the sides, just get everything mixed in. It smells great. That cream cheese and pure vanilla. Okay. So our mixture is nice and softened. If it'll come out, there we go. Okay. So it's beautiful and softened. So at this point, we will fold in uh, whipped cream. So I'll just do uh, three quarter of the mixture and just leave um, a little bit for the end for serving. That should be enough. So this is the folding in. Just try and mix it in all together. Um, if you beat it with the mixer, it will be too um, too much for the mixture. So just use gentle strokes and combine everything together. I will add my chocolate chip. This is a very indulgent dessert, um, but good nonetheless. Mm 
So this is great. We will put in our cups and then we'll refrigerate the, cup, um, the mixture in the jar for a good three hours or so, so that it can set. I'll get my cute little jars. Just trying to. Okay, then we'll place the extra And we do have a blackberry uh, mixture that we will make um, to top this cheesecake. And so that will be the next process. So here are our jars. Just before we refrigerate, we will refrigerate that for three hours. And um, next we will make the black the blackberry sauce that will go at the top of the jar and we're forming distinct layers on this um, cheesecake. Uh, so we'll be pureeing fresh blackberries with um, some sugar. And then thereafter that sauce will add to the top and um, and then when serving, you can serve with fresh blackberries and some of the whipped cream. And we'll see it when it's done. Our final step is to make the blackberry sauce. So we'll, in a blender, put blackberries and to that we'll add some sugar. So we have our, oh, looks great. Um, the darker it is, has so many antioxidants, the blackberries. So this is the sauce that we'll use. We'll refrigerate the sauce as well as the whipped cream. And we'll use that um, for serving the cheesecake. <laughs>